Good morning students, parents and the South Coast community. It's my great pleasure to welcome everybody back to Term 2. These are different and challenging times that we are entering this term. But when I think about that, I think about our school model, Mo'at Motto, rest for Che, and then look to the end result. And I guess my challenge is to each and every one of our students is we want to leave this at the end of this virus and when we return back to normal schooling in a better place than where we started. We can do that when we look through the eyes of our Toro values. When I think about what we can do at home, the T is for teaching and learning. So it's about engaging every day in the teaching and learning that the teachers provide for each and every one of our students. It's about ourselves, looking after ourselves, getting enough sleep, eating well, getting enough exercise, making sure that we look after our own mental health. It's about respectful relationships. We're dealing in a different time where we're communicating online through lots of different apps and different programs, making sure that we are always treating people with respect and we're looking after people. And finally, our community, making sure that we are good community members, making sure that we're social distancing, making sure that we're washing our hands, that we're minimising the contact with other people so that we can end the spread of this disease. Um, I wish you all the best for this term. I look forward to working with each and every one of you over the next five weeks and then the next 10 weeks and then for the rest of the year. I look forward to shaking everyone's hand at the end of this virus and, and graduating in year 12s at the end of the year. Um, and I wish you all the best. It's my great pleasure now to pass you over to Sarah G, one of our school leaders. Good morning teachers, members of our community, parents, and most importantly, our students. We hope that you are all safe and well. We recognise that the last month has brought drastic change to our everyday life, and we hope that each of you are continuing to do your bit to maintain health and safety through taking the proper precautions. Washing our hands for 20 seconds, staying 1.5 metres apart from one another, and staying home unless essential. We also hope that through the change we experience, you take the time to invest in the positive opportunities that arise. The opportunity to rest, recharge, and renew to revisit old hobbies or take up new ones, to strengthen your physical and mental health and well-being. We also implore you to keep social, to catch up with your family, call old friends, and connect in new and different ways. During this time, we are all encouraged to reach out to our older and more vulnerable community members. Right now, they are doing it particularly tough, and we should be there to support them through this challenging time. Although you may not be able to visit your grandparents, older friends and family members, you can still contact them. Call and keep in touch to make sure they know they aren't alone and are still an incredibly valued and wonderful part of our community. It gives me great pleasure to continue this on with Jordan Angle, our other school captain. Good morning. We want to particularly reassure our fellow Year 12s. We know firsthand the challenges you're facing right now, and we remind you that now, more than ever, you are not alone. We're a team. We have made it through some incredible challenges before, and we can do it again. I know that right now we miss being at school where we would regularly complain about wanting to not be at school. But let's make sure to take care of ourselves take care of each other, and as we do so, have faith that the best is yet to come. We know that times are tough. For those that may be struggling through these unusual times, reach out. You are supported, you are loved. Always remember, you're never alone. We have gone into this together, and we know that we'll come out of this together, not only as a stronger country, stronger people, but as a stronger school and community. As your school leaders, we are here to represent and guide you, but we are also here to support you in any way possible. Please don't hesitate to contact your Dean and your principals if you require assistance. We know that at the moment, it can be very difficult to connect with the school and your fellow students. That's why we've established a brand new Instagram page for every student at the school. On this page, you're going to find competitions every week with prizes, as well as helpful tips and tricks to keep you in the right headspace. You can find us at SHIP Student Hub. Make a follow request and send us a message with something proving you're a student. It can be a timetable, student ID, uniform, hat, 
the list goes on. After this, you'll get access to everything the page has to offer. Thank you all for your time and stay safe. I would now like to welcome the Principal of Senior School, Mr. Ben Weeks. Thanks very much, Jordan, and good morning, uh, students, families, and the Southport community. From myself and uh, the entire senior school team, welcome uh, to Term 2. Uh, I really hope that you have had a relaxing and rejuvenating break. And uh, as I normally say at the beginning of the term, I really hope in particular for our Year 11 and 12 students that already have their report cards, you spend some time with, uh, with family and uh, those important to you, reflecting on uh, your results in Term 2 and setting some goal in Term 1, sorry, and reflecting on some goals that you'd like to set for yourselves in Term 2. Can I say one of my highlights over the holidays were looking through each and every one of your report cards and seeing the great improvements uh, that each and every one of you made in our subjects. In particular, the gains made by our Year 12 cohort were absolutely exemplary. So we really need to continue the hard work, continue the great application to our studies this term. Uh, and as Mr Hughes said, we really need to make sure we're addressing each and every aspect of our school's values. I'd really like to make sure that uh, you're engaging with your teachers as much as possible. The reason we are teachers and educators is because we absolutely uh, value the interactions and relationships that we have with our students. I can guarantee you each and every one of your teachers is looking forward to hearing from you and I encourage you to communicate with them as much as possible. I would be suggesting at a minimum three times per week, just like you would engage in those three 70 minute lessons. Your teachers should hear from you, they should see work from you, and they will be able to provide you with really meaningful feedback on how you can keep moving forward. I'd really like to make sure that you all stay in really healthy uh, routines in terms of uh, healthy eating, exercise, time for study, but also some time for yourself to look after your own well-being and that of your family. The other important thing in terms of looking after yourself is if you've got a question, make sure you reach out to somebody and ask it. There is no such thing as a silly question. We are here to help you um, in whatever uh, ways that we can throughout these next couple of weeks. As you do engage in online learning, I'd like to remind you that our expectations in terms of application, in terms of the way we interact respectfully with each other, um, are exactly the same as if you were on campus. So we need to make the most of these, these opportunities that our teachers will give us and make sure that we uphold uh, the values and high expectations of, it, of ourselves and our school community. The last thing I'd like to mention is while we're going through these next couple of weeks, I'd like everyone to think about the notion of paying it forward. Each and every day, try and do just one thing um, out of the ordinary that is, that is really, really nice and valued by somebody in your family, somebody in your, our community, one of your friends, a relative. If we can all do that once every day, go out of our way to do something different and nice for somebody, imagine how that, uh, that will snowball and, and really just make us all feel valued uh, and, and, you know, that we're looking after our own well-being, but everybody else is looking after us also. Please make sure you follow all of our school's communication mediums very, very regularly. Check our Facebook. As Jordan mentioned, join our student Instagram page. Check your school emails regularly to make sure that you're keeping up to date with everything that you need to be. So students from Mr Sullivan, myself and the whole senior school team, stay well. Continue to do your very, very best and stay in touch with us. From me personally, I can't wait for you all to be back on campus. Um, and hear about uh, how well you're all doing. Uh, it now gives me pleasure to pass over to the junior school principal, Mr. Damien Burke. Okay, thank you, Mr. Weeks. Can I, on behalf of the junior secondary area of school, please welcome back all of the students in seven, eight, and nine uh, to term two. Uh, we also wish that, or hope that you had a fantastic holidays with your parents and your families uh, across those two weeks. Um, the, the theme that you'll hear from me today and you'll hear from me over the next few weeks is the importance of out staying connected and it's not just um, to those in your household and those uh, in your families but also staying connected to your learning as that's incredibly important over the next five weeks. For the junior secondary students it's important that you start to establish those routines 
routines that you may not have ever had before uh, because you are not used to some of the, what some of the senior students are uh, when they are sent home on exam blocks and so on. So there's the expectation that you are going to need to independently set up what your learning days are going to look like. So some of the things you can do is you need to find a quiet space in the house. The TV needs to be off, um, the, the PlayStation and the Xbox need to be nice, nice and far away, and you really need to figure out um, what is going to be that quiet space that's going to be the best for you to be able to focus on your learning. You need to have a plan on how you're going to structure your days. My advice would be to follow your timetable. There's a nice easy way to know there's the full lessons for the day and you're going to knock those over. Some students may prefer to uh, knock over the majority of your three lessons for English um, on the Monday. And you may want to work it that way. You might want to prioritise classes. Um, it is entirely up to you, but my advice would be to follow the timetable. That way you're connecting with your teachers. It's important to take breaks as well. Uh, particularly if you are looking at trying to do some of those subjects across the whole day, it can be incredibly hard to, to maintain that attention span across that time um, and those breaks are. So if you find that your mind's starting to wander a little bit, go and get up, stand up, go to the fridge, grab a little snack um, and come back after that. And I believe that will be uh, work really well for you. I want you also to think about how you're connecting with your teachers across the course of the week. Uh, we want you to make sure that you are connecting with your teachers and my advice on that, as Mr Weeks had said before, is that we'd like you to do that at least three times a week. So that's for a number of different questions. It can be um, if you are struggling with any sort of work, if you've finished the work and there's, and there's um, you know, sort of more questions that you had about something that you can engage in as well, uh, or if there's just some general questions that you have of your teachers, um, you can do that as well. That shows that you're engaging uh, in the work there. So at least three times a week. If you do have any questions, uh, please email those through. We have a number of people in junior secondary that support all of the students, um, starting from your dean. Uh, we've got our guidance officer, Mrs. Heath, uh, Mrs. Bowden, our DP, and obviously myself. Uh, but please email any of those people as well if there are any questions. As Mr. Weeks said before, no question is a silly one. Um, can I also ask that you are checking your emails regularly, and regularly means at the start of every day. Um, I want you to make sure you're checking those emails. Um, that should be uh, a routine for you. Uh, but across the course of the day, your teachers will be um, setting things out through the learning place, but also just emailing you guys as well. So it's important that you've just got that open in the background and you're continuing to refresh that as well. Um, so that is it from me. Um, I want you to make sure you are looking after yourselves, you're looking after each other, uh, and I will look forward to connecting with you uh, online and connecting with uh, all of the students uh, across the coming weeks as well. It's now my pleasure to introduce the Guidance Officer of Senior School, Mr Newman, uh, to speak to the students. Thank you, Mr Newman. Thank you, Mr Burke. Good morning and welcome back to a different way of working for Term 2. I wanted to take this opportunity to provide some basic strategies for managing and supporting yourself during this time. Any sense of normalcy is welcomed during these uncertain times. Experts say that uh, establishing a routine is an important part of alleviating any stress and anxiety that we may feel, ultimately helping us to maintain a healthy sense of well-being, provided that these routines are healthy ones. By mirroring your regular get ready for school routine, this can bring a sense of normality to your day. While it may be tempting to just wear your pajamas around all day, sit on the couch and relax, this can actually be a bad strategy for some as it creates issues with that sense of routine and with establishing those helpful boundaries. Routines are helpful in reducing our mental fatigue. So simple actions such as getting up at your usual time, showering and getting dressed as you would for school on any other day can be quite helpful. As this model of schooling is a little different this term, you're not expected to be sitting at your computer from nine to three each day, though this model may work for some families. What you could do, for example, is to work for about 30, 45 minutes where you access your content, you connect with your teacher and the learning experiences provided before taking a break to get some water, have a stretch, go for a walk, um, and have that planned downtime before repeating that process again and working through your lessons. At the end of the day, make sure you pack up your stuff to help your brain distinguish between work time and home time. This will reinforce that routine and boundary for you. But like Mr Burke said, you do need to have a plan for time for when you're going to complete your online lessons, as well as your study outside of that online lesson time. Time to do fun things with your family. Time to connect with your friends, how you're going to do that. Time for you to do other fun activities 
Focus on the hobbies that you enjoy, perhaps develop a new skill or read into a new interest area. And of course, having that downtime where you can rest, recharge, and actually do nothing, including switching off from social media, as well as news consumption. With increased contact at home, this may also contribute to increased anxieties and stress for all members of the household. It is crucial that parents model how to strike a positive balance between work and home life and how to model positive coping strategies. Parents and students, please look for additional communication sent via email today that outlines a range of positive coping strategies as well as a variety of apps that you might like to utilise for additional support should you require. Parents, it's important to put boundaries in place for both you and your team's wellbeing. Some examples of boundaries might include what kind of routine you expect your child to follow at home during this time, as well as negotiating the times when you're going to have your own space as well as your team's own space. Don't try to be perfect. It's tempting to try and do it all and keep everything running as exactly as usual. But the reality is this is unusual times and we need to be kind to ourselves. You're not expected to have all the answers, especially when it comes to your child's education. Your child's teachers are the experts. What you can do is encourage your child to reach out to their teacher or reach out to the appropriate person for support if needed. In closing, the first thing is to accept that this is the new normal, at least for now. When worry strikes, try not to speculate about it. Take a deep breath, go for a walk, distract yourself. Set a schedule for rising, for your meals and for your bedtime. Our resilience thrives with proper nutrition and rest, so fuel your body accordingly. Get dressed as though you're meeting people outside. Take pride in your appearance. Fill the day with projects and end it with rituals such as reading, catching up with friends over video or text. Ensure that you're building time for exercise. Consider what anchors and relaxes you, whether it's meditation, music, yoga, gardening. Avoid social media that makes you anxious and restrict news consumption, especially one hour before going to sleep. Some of you might like to start a journal. Psychologists say the one thing that's most associated with emotional resilience is that social connection and support. Just because we need to physically be distant at the moment to make sure that we are safe and happy and healthy doesn't mean that we can't still connect socially and reach out to those people that are around us. A phone call or a video chat while on a walk, a virtual lunch date in the garden can be a quick way to stay connected and foster your own sense of well-being during these times. Please look after one another and I look forward to seeing you back at school shortly. So what now? Check your emails at nine o'clock. You should have an email from the Dean of your year level. You will then receive over to the, the, the day an email from each one of your teachers with uh, links to the learning place and all the information that you need to get started with your study. Again, I encourage you to set up a routine in your house. I thank you for trusting South Wales State High with your education and I wish you all the best. Thank you.